Big shout out to Sporting Icons, best channel out there. Okay, so the WBA have released their new rankings for the month of July. They are the first of the four major sanctioning bodies to do so. So big up to the WBA for being consistent with that each and every month. But that's about as far as their credit is going to go from me. Now, each and every month, they do some real head scratches. They really do. And this month is no different. And there will be a I told you so moment as well. We're going to get to that in a bit. And of course, you'll understand it and you'll go, well, that's just wrong. That's weird. However, now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you are subscribed. If you love boxing, make sure you are subscribed. And as I say, these ranking videos, nobody else here on YouTube is doing it. OK, so when you do and, and listen to these particular videos, the four major sanctioning bodies, of course, I'll do the Ring magazine as and when they make changes as well. You have a, um, a good grasp of the landscape of the heavyweight division. So you can it's pretty much a very good prediction tool. And of course, we get to talk about fighters that don't usually get headlines. So when it comes across to you debating people on social media, you're going to have the upper hand, okay? Because you know a lot more about what's happening than what they probably do. Anyway, I'm going to go through the top 15, point out the changes, see what fights recently happened, what fights recently been made, what fights are coming up, all that good stuff. So Alexander Usyk is the WBA super heavyweight champion. Of course, he's the unified champion as well with the IBF and the WBO. IBO as well, if anybody cares about that one, but it's not that important, let's be honest. Dan Dubois is the WBA regular world heavyweight champion. Number one is Michael Hunter. Number two, Robert Hellenius. Number three, Huey Fury. Number four, Anthony Joshua. Number five, Martin Bacoli. Number six, Arsenbek Makhmadov. Number seven, Trevor Bryan. Number eight, San Kostobuski. Number nine, Lenny Perro. Number 10, Lucas Brown. Number 11, Joseph Parker. Number 12, Andy Ruiz Jr. Number 13, Kevin Lorena. Number 14, Big Baby Gerald Miller. And number 15, Ivan DiCecco. So there you go. That is the new top 15 for the WBA for the month of July. So according to the WBA, these are the top 15 in the world. Plus, of course, their two champions, Dan Dubois and Alexander Usyk. Now, dropped out this month is Deontay Wilder and Dakari Scott. Them two have been dropped out. Dakari Scott, of course, recently got knocked out by Jonathan Guidry in a all Don King clash, which happened on the Dan Dubois and Trevor Bryan undercard in Florida. So he gets knocked out, American prospect. Shame that uh, he lost that fight, to be fair. But he did, seventh round of knock, um, knockout. Didn't look great. He had too much weight. And for somebody his age, that's just ridiculous. But either way, he's now out of the top 15. He shouldn't have been in the top 15 anyway, but we all know why he was. Don King fighter, right? And I'm surprised that they didn't put in there Jonathan Guidry, even though he proves he lost to Trevor Bryan, but he's a Don King fighter, right? Yeah. Deontay Wilder, he was number nine, and he's been kind of consistent with that position for the last few months within the WBA, but he's no longer in the top 15. Is that because now he's decided to stop paying the sanction fees? Quite probably. Who knows? Or maybe it's down to severe inactivity. But hey, the WBA, they're okay with inactivity. They rank many fighters um, over recent years who've been inactive far more than Deontay Wilder. So that is the outs. Big changes. Okay, so let's start off with number 14, big baby, Jarrell Miller. That would be the elephant in the room, quite literally. Now, this is the I told you so moment. When it was announced that he was going to be fighting against uh, Bracamonte in Argentina on the WBA Knockout Drugs Festival, what, what, what is it that I said? Even though he's taken on this journeyman, don't be surprised if you see big baby Jaron Miller after all that time out of the ring, and we all know for the reasons why, that he will find himself in the top 15 of the WBA. And sure, our eggs are eggs. What happened? He's now in the top 15 for the WBA. Unbelievable. Now, him participating in a WBA knockout drugs festival isn't it ironic. A little too ironic, as the song would go. But it was obvious. It's what I'm saying. When you're subscribed and you're watching these particular ranking videos, you get to know the landscape. That's why predictions become quite simple. Should he be in the top 15? I think he needs to earn it a little bit more. Quite honestly, he didn't look great 
against uh, Bracamonte. In fact, he went the distance with Bracamonte. And, he, and uh, he got wobbled on a couple of occasions against Bracamonte as well. But anyway, that's the WBA for you. Um, number 10, Lucas Brown. He's been boosted from number 15 to number 10. Now, quite how he found himself in, 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 the, in the number 15 position to start with before he fought Junior Farr, I have absolutely no idea. But either way, he did. He defeats Junior Farr by knockout. Shock upset for most people. And he's now number 10 in the world, according to the WBA. Of course, he's the Oceana WBA heavyweight champion. Okay. So, Lucas Brown, number 10. I'm hearing that he could be taking on number 11, Joseph Parker. Of course, that would be New Zealand versus Australia. Australia versus New Zealand. However, in, in what they call, was it a, a trans clash something? I've, I do apologise. But... Either way, I mean, that's the kind of fight that should have happened quite some time ago. But is it the kind of fight that people want to watch nowadays? I'm not too sure. But again, him having a knockout victory over Junior Farr. Joseph Park, of course, went the distance with Junior Farr. Does that fight make it a bit more interesting? Maybe, especially for um, those of you in New Zealand and Australia. Maybe so. Now, number seven, Trevor Bryan, of course, that is a new insert for him. But... He's a former WBA regular World Heavyweight Champion, Don King Fighter, so of course he's going to keep his uh, top 15 position. No doubt, of course he is. Don King relationship, all that good stuff. With a whack resume, let's be honest. It's an absolutely terrible resume. He's, I'm not even too sure if you can even call him a gatekeeper, if we're being honest with you. The way that Dan Dubois just totally dismantled him with the way that Trevor Bryan didn't even throw a punch in that fight, did he? But he finds himself number seven. So according to the WBA, He's the seventh best heavyweight in the world. Be interested to see what happens with Trevor Bryan, but he's one of the most inactive fighters that there has been. Although recently, to be fair, of course, he did fight Pemaine Stavern, of all people, another Don King fighter for the WBA title after they stripped Manuel Char. And, of course, he fought another Don King fighter in Jonathan Guidry. And, of course, he got put into a situation where Don King had to go for a purse bid with Dan Dubois, and he gets blasted out of there. So I wouldn't expect him to be doing anything uh, significant. Um, other changes, of course, number one, Michael Hunter. Now, he's number one, obviously, because Dan Dubois was number one, but now he's a regular champion. So Michael Hunter, just who was number two, then moves into the number one position. Now, Michael Hunter was supposed to be taking on Huey Fury today, Saturday, the 2nd of July. But, of course, uh, Huey Fury, he got sick. He got a virus and whatever. And now he's had to pull out the fight. Now, that is a genuine illness, by the way. I know his chief sparring partner personally. I know for a fact that that is legitimate. So, apparently, they are rescheduling the fight. I'm only uh, guessing the date of November the 12th because Ricky Hatton said that his uh, fight, his exhibition with Barrera was going to be on November the 12th. So, I'm presuming this is going to go hand in hand with that. I'm only presuming, okay? But either way, Michael Hunter, he said that he wants to fight Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker, of course, is looking for an opponent after, by the looks of it, that Joseph pa that Joe Joyce fight has fell apart. But again, as I said before, maybe Joseph Parker could be fighting Lucas Brown. But Michael Hunter is a boxer fighter now. So that would be an in-house fight, wouldn't it? Hunter versus Joseph Parker. So we'll have to wait and see. Number 12, Andy Ruiz Jr. As we know, he's got his fight coming up soon with King Kong, Luis Ortiz. I'm surprised that WBA haven't ranked Luis Ortiz in this top 15, to be fair, with him being a PBC fighter. But don't be surprised if he magically appears into the top 15 before their fight and then they're fighting for some garbage title. That means absolutely nothing. Lenny Opero finds himself at the number nine position. Now, he's only had, what is it, six, seven fights? And he's only fought journeymen. So why is he ranked so high? You tell me. I have no idea. No, he's not a Don King fighter. Maybe Don King manages him some way. I don't know. But he doesn't promote him. We know that much. Who knows? Who knows why he's there? That's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But either way, that is pretty much it. Of course, you've got August the 20th, the rematch, Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. So it doesn't really matter if Anthony Joshua is ranked number four. Makes no difference. He's got that rematch for the world title. And of course, number five, Mike Bacoli. Victory over Tony Yoka. Be interesting to see what happens with Mike Bacoli going forward. Maybe a fight with Joe Joyce. Any reason why that fight can't happen? Maybe him versus a Daniel Dubois. Him versus a Dillian White versus a Joseph Parker. And 
whatever okay there's plenty of big fights out there for him i'm sure i'm sure that martin piccoli and billy nelson will uh, take any of those fights personally i wouldn't mind seeing him take on arson beck magmadov but who's going to promote it we don't know anyway that is the news drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video